Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Entering into the courts of the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Good morning. I'm a little, uh, still getting up, waking up. It's 9.30, but, you know, <laughs> takes me a while to drink a couple cups of coffee and get woke up. <coughs> I put this one back up again. Some of you may remember it from before. Tried to show you, have been trying to show you, the types and shadows were forthcoming of uh, natural Israel and spiritual Israel. The natural owl tree and the wild owl tree, of which branches were broken off, amen, and grafted into the tree of life, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Two candlesticks, this is all in the book of Revelation. This is exactly how it says. Then down here we have two little witnesses. Okay? And this is the river of life. The word of God. The water of the word of God. Amen? Eternal. <coughs> anyway, what's the word say? Well, let me show you. First of all, I, I was listening to Stephen Denoon. I I've tried and tried and tried and tried. <laughs> Amen, Jesus. The best I can to get uh, Stephen to see what he apparently still has not seen regarding natural Israel and heavenly Jerusalem, spiritual Israel, okay? Who is our mother? Because we are born from above. We are spirit beings. Amen? Inner man, outer man. Natural, spiritual. Old, New type and shadow forthcoming of the spiritual. The natural came first, then the spiritual, but in the end it turns around, folks. And that's what I want to share with you today. Part of what Stephen had to say and mentioned somewhere along the line, I heard the silver trumpets. Now, you know, I, I can't tell you that I ever read that. But as soon as I heard it, boom. Silver is redemption, brother. Uh, brass is judgment. You know, bronze. <coughs> fiery bronze. The fiery trials. Bronze. Fire. Brass. And uh, gold, of course, is faith. But silver is redemption. Now, look at Numbers chapter 10, verse 2 through 10. Now these trumpets were beaten out of silver. And there's only two of them. Uh-oh, how many witnesses we got down here? Two. But I've also likened these, okay, as natural and spiritual. The uh, two seeds, natural, the remnant, which is saved out, which I believe, okay, the trumpets represent these individual bodies which are the voices of many waters, okay? But folks, and then I've shared with you before, you cannot have everything be spiritual without there being a natural event which takes place as a witness. So if it can mean a many-membered body all gathered together as one man, okay, on both sides, but you cannot eliminate the individual men, okay, who are the mouthpieces and or <laughs> those who blow the trumpet. Now, symbolically, the trumpets and the men, they can all represent the many-membered body. They, uh, uh, that remnant who is called, after repentance, call repentance. The first call of repentance comes right here, folks. The spiritual. Because he said in the end, amen, Jesus, that which was first, natural, shall be last. And that which was last, spiritual, shall be first. This is that turnaround, as I have mentioned to you before, of his word coming back to him from the east, back to him from the west, to the east, because it came forth from the east, like a bolt of lightning, to the west. Now in that turnaround, the last is first and first and last, it's returning to him in the gathering together of the wheat. 
The spiritual then becomes first. So, in the trials and tribulations, and the calling forth of repentance, amen, begins to take place in the households of faith. Now, and I've also shared with you that they coincide with one another. Okay? While the world, okay, is being led into this ultimate battle of Armageddon, amen, Jesus, and the spirit of darkness is gathering the children of darkness who are going to be influenced to lead the world into this, okay, amen, Jesus, the spirit of light in a many-membered body as the judgments of God come upon these households of faith, and I showed you the other day where the little hills were at, and that the mountain of God is established, God is establishing his mountain, okay, of which the 144,000 stand upon, he's established that above all the other hills, all the other little households of faith and or ministries, okay, as I've told you before, there's a lot of 60-fold ministries out here. There are 30-fold ministries out here. But the ministry as the mountain that shall rise above all the other ministries and or little lights on the hills will be the gospel of the kingdom of heaven ministered in peace, the shouting of the feet, okay, Amen. To drop down your swords between one another and enter in, okay, into the anointed covering it is the anointed word of God coming forth, all right, which is the light that comes out of the darkness. This three days, three years, okay, which is what they are gathered into. Amen, Jesus? Okay. Now, I'm going to go back again, so you can, uh, that's Numbers uh, chapter 10, verse 2 through 10, the two silver trumpets, amen, that are blown. One I've told you comes before tribulation, or at an enduring tribulation, because you got to watch out for these blood moons coming up, and Israel and Iran really think there's something going to take effect in that. And I've told you before, it's the fall feast that are kicked off, that I believe, okay, although in regards to the body and the anointing, because that anointing comes from the Holy Spirit of God, from the throne room of God. And as I've mentioned to you before, the center stem, all right, is where the oil comes in to feed the lamps, the lights, the six candles on one, on three on one side and three on the other. Okay, and I also showed you about the two sides of the man. Okay, uh, you guys will get into this here pretty soon, Lord willing, because that's just what the wake up is about. Okay, you got to get woke up. People got to get woke up. The outer court ministry, the wheat, all right, and uh, then that division takes place. But nonetheless, the wake up's got to take place first. Now, amen, Jesus. So, Pentecost this year, regarding the Holy Spirit's movement, could very well begin to take place, as my sister uh, Shamila and I have spoken of this coming in and around Pentecost uh, 2014, all right? But definitely, without question, if this be the period of time of which the Father has been warning us of, then by the Feast of Trumpets 2014, okay, and the blood moons of 2014-2015, are about to effect a change in the natural realm. Many have said that the blood moons are good for Israel, but bad for the world. So this little war that I believe is getting ready to take place sometime between now and then, it's my belief, amen, that that war 
begins. That brings us into the three days of darkness. It should be the beginning of the three days of darkness. The dark and gloomy days. Dark and gloomy period of time. Which I believe that for the world lasts for about three years. Because it does a multiplicity of things, that little war. It cuts off oil to Europe. It starts to cause the domino effect of uh, the economic collapse of the world. That's the gloom and the doom, the darkness. Amen, Jesus? And I've also mentioned that just like before the judgment of God, I believe the great, great earthquake, okay, spoken of, all right, takes place just uh, prior to the judgments of God are the beginning of the judgments of God. Amen. I believe that there is a smaller earthquake, okay, coming from the west, which begins tribulation. One, the larger earthquake, Mount of Olives split in two. Amen. Before judgments of God, smaller earthquake, west coast, prior to the tribulation that comes upon the whole world. Now, I've mentioned to you before, you've got to see these things, symbolically speaking, which is what? Amen, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 13, 12. And Colossians 2, 17. Now, you got to get a, a clue on this mirrored reflection. He said, we look into a mirror. What does a mirror do? It gives a reflection. Okay, what is it a reflection of? The natural realm. When you look into that mirror, it's a reflection of this realm. But we look into the mirror, the reflection, spirit. Okay, of the type, the natural. The true is the spiritual, the natural is the lie. It's the temporal, okay? We look into the spiritual realm of the types, okay, of natural Israel's journey, the seed of faith, bringing us to the seed of righteousness and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, all right? through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But it was also to let us know, in part, those things that would take place to us, spiritually speaking. So when we see Jacob's trouble over here, it's going to happen to Jacob spiritually. Natural Israel and spiritual Israel. These are the two men. The two trumpets, the old and the new, the two candlesticks, while a natural wild olive tree, you, the river of life that falls between, which is what brings us together and makes the two men one, the law and the spirit, the natural realm and the spiritual realm, made one, what? Producing immortal beings. <laughs> they have the texture of the natural realm, but they're eternal beings. They're immortal. So they're spiritual. Spiritual and the natural realm being brought together and producing immortal beings. Okay, these are the two men being made one, both spiritually speaking, uh, relative to the Word of God and the laws and the Spirit of God. And the natural house of Israel, the remnant who repents, and the branch that was broken off among the Gentile, the wild uh, olive tree, who were grafted in, okay, to the tree of life, Jesus Christ, this river of life. All right. Well, praise God. I hope you'll, uh, I'm going to go back over them again. Numbers chapter 10, verse 2 through 10, Corinthians 1, 13, verse 12, I believe it is. And Colossians 2.17. Now read those over and put your spiritual cast on. Folks, it's really important that you start to wake up. Okay? Because although 
The natural journey of Israel is a type of the spiritual. The mountain is the revealed word of the Father. Revelation, the book of Revelation, was revealed to John. God will not do for one that he will not do for another. All of the sons and daughters of God will have the word of God revealed to them, okay, in a revelation, in a, an awakening, in an understanding, okay, of which we're able to look at the types and see the truth, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys, and the Lord be with you and bless you in Yeshua's name. Amen? Amen. You have a good day today. Praise God.